a small act of kindness can go a long way. I woke up in the morning and I didn't want to go to the gym. Usually, I'm the type of person who wants to hit the gym because I love improving my body, right? I love sculpting my physique because I want to look like a Greek god in the future. But today was one of those days when I was like, I really didn't want to go, especially because it's glute day. I love glute days because I'm trying to grow that bootay, you know? But for real, on the side note, like I love glute day, but it's just like today I wasn't feeling it at all. It was super cold outside, but I still went. I still went regardless. The reason I went is because I got a couple of messages from my girl and it was just lovely to read those, right? It's because I really didn't want to go. But as soon as I read that, that improved my mood significantly. So like I was saying, a kind message, a kind, like, you know, kindness could go a long way. A small act of kindness could go a long, long way. Whether you like it or not, because, you know, messages, waking up to messages like that, you know, lovely messages, supportive messages. You're going to be like, you know, you got to do it regardless. Even if you don't feel like it, you just want to push forward because of those messages. Right. Another thing that happened to me when I was at the gym, when I was trying to go to the Smith machine and do my hip thrusts, there's no foam pads. Right. And usually I just go to the front desk area because the workers work there but they weren't there either so i was confused i was like okay i think i need to do hip thrusts without a foam pad today and i was low-key kind of scared because i was gonna up i like i literally upped the weight today right i was like this is gonna low-key hurt <laughs> but i was like i need to grow that bootie right I was, I was about to do it a lady came up to me and she's like are you looking for the foam pad for the smith machine to do hip thrusts i'm like yeah she's like it's right over there there's one right there i was looking around i was like she's like it's on the floor i looked around i'm like no she's like go around it's under the table don't worry and i was like oh dang i appreciate it that small act of kindness really also boosted my mood because i was like i was so happy that there was a foam pad i really didn't want to do a hip thrust movement without a foam pad right but that really just helped me to like boost up my mood and have fun have more fun in the gym today and like I was saying, it's so beautiful when people are able to just do small acts like that of kindness. Even when you open the door for someone, it's like a lot of people don't do it these days. But like opening a door for someone who's behind you or who's about to leave the building, it's nice. It's a nice act. And I think a lot of people aren't that kind these days. I feel like more people need to set an example in this world to be more kind. I think more people are to themselves these days right i feel like if you're able to just do small acts of kindness like that throughout the day you'll boost up your own mood and you'll boost up someone else's mood and you'll make someone else's day you never know a small act of kindness can go a long way like i was saying at the beginning even shooting a message to one of your friends family members or acquaintance or whoever it is right give them a small lovely message throughout the day or even in the morning or at night and you never know, that will help someone out throughout the long term, right? Receiving a message is one of the most beautiful things ever when it's a lovely message, when it's a supportive message, when it really just helps you be like, dang, this person cares about me a lot, right? And like I'm saying, it's just beautiful. And another thing I want to discuss about is like, I was reading a book surrounded by idiots one of my favorite books i've been just i literally just got it off my bookshelf because i want to learn the different types of you know human behavior again i need to learn how to communicate better right and look how many like dang i made a lot of notes right but i've been rereading it and it's fantastic and i've been gaining a lot of insights and i wanted to learn how to differentiate different types of human behavior again and be good at it right so here's a couple of things I wrote down, So, which is very true. Everything you say to a person is filtered through his frame of reference, biases, and preconserved ideas. What remains is ultimately the message that he or she understands, which is very true, right? Because whenever you're trying to say something to someone, <clears throat> he or she might not understand it in your perspective. And they might understand it in their perspective, meaning they won't understand the whole message 
and they might understand it in a way where it's not there it's not there to their liking right they might take it as a negative thing so you gotta understand there's different types of human behaviors i will be making another video on this because because at the end of the day when you find a human behavior that you want to attract you're gonna have an easier life right because you'll understand who to attract and who you want to be with and i think a lot of people struggle with that they don't know how to differentiate other human behavior types and they don't know who's right for them right and that's why I'll, i'm and that's why i've been researching more about human behavior i need to understand it again because i want to be able to surround myself with people who i want to surround myself with so i'm gonna continue by adjusting yourself to how other people want to want to be treated you become more effective in your communication which is very true you help other people you help other people understand you by creating a secure arena for communication on their terms then the listener can use his or energy to understand then to consciously or unconsciously react to your manner of communication or communicating flexibility and the ability to interpret other people's needs is what characterizes a good communicator you are who you are there and there's no point in wondering why you're fine no matter what you're fine no matter how you are wired no matter how you choose to behave no matter how you're perceived you are fine and lastly, behaviors are like a toolbox. All types are needed, regardless in this society. And if you learn how to understand all behavior types, you could also be able to understand who's right for you, who's not right for you, how you react to certain situations, how can you communicate to other people, and how you could be able to get out of situations when needed to, right? And yeah, that's just a small thing. Like, I want to talk about how a, a small act of kindness could go a long way for anyone. And I also want to talk about human behavior because I think a lot of people need to learn how to communicate more. I think if you're able to express yourself through words or through like messages, you could really spark a nice conversation. You could really get someone to boost their mood up in an instant. And that's it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed it. It's a small video. I just wanted to quickly talk about this because I really enjoyed what happened to me today and what I learned yesterday. I definitely want to create more videos on human behavior and how to communicate. I definitely want to share more things such as like my daily life and like what's happening, what I'm trying to do, etc. Right? Overall, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day so far. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.